Jesus. Lord, we thank you, we honor you, we magnify your name, we bless your name, we thank you, Lord. We lift your name up, oh God, my yes, Father. Jesus. As it is, God, we love you, Jesus. We commit this lesson into your hand, God. It is kind of the day, it's almost going now. We thank God for the, 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 this nation. We thank God for Canada. We thank you. We thank God. We give God glory and honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we love you, God. We honor you. We worship you. We do you. We magnify your name. You are a worthy God. You are a wonderful Father. Father, we thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 I'm going to talk the topic called feet, um, the iron feet, deliverance. You can bring it up. I have to welcome the prayer line. Thank you so much for coming. Welcome well, once again. I can hear the noise. Just turn away the microphone. I don't know if the mic, mic, one of the mic must be turned off. Yes, I want. I don't want to to bring a distraction from the prayer line. Hello, are you okay? Hello. Okay, that's fine. Yes. So we want to, to make sure that the the prayer line. They don't suffer from echo. You reduce it. That's good. Okay, welcome once again. This is Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry. Welcome you. Uh, first of all, I want to say happy, happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hallelujah. 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 You thank God for Canada Day. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Welcome once again. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi. Welcome you. And the topic I'm going to talk to you is a topic called Iron Feet Deliverance. What does that mean, Iron Feet Deliverance? I don't know if it is up here there, but if it is not there, but that is how it is. Iron Feet Deliverance. Feet are a symbol of dominion. You know your feet is symbol of your dominion. Your feet is the symbol of your walking, the symbol of your dominion. You know your feet is the dominion, you are the symbol of your dominion. When Adam lose his dominion, the serpent was instructed to lose his heels. When Adam lose his dominion, what happened? The serpent, the snake, was, was instructed, beat the nail, heel, feet, it, fight the, the feet. When the feet is fight, automatically the portion will go straight to your heart and kill you. And now, we thank God. That's why we are doing high on feet deliverance. Because already, God have mass on us. <laughs> many, many people, their snakes are beating their knees and they have no idea. You have no idea. That's why some, sometimes you see dreams, snakes. You see snakes in dreams. When you close your eyes, you see snakes. Sometimes you, you see snake fighting. Some, peop some people, they don't even sleep. That's how it is. Now, when we look at the scripture from Genesis 3, verse 15, the book of Genesis 3, verse 15, I need a leader. Somebody must read this. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy, bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. By you his foot will be, will be wounded. What does the Bible say? Say again. Read it again. And I will put enmity between thee and I will the put the enmity between thee and the woman. Mm -hmm. And between thy seed and her seed. Between the seed and her seed. It shall bruise, bruise thy head. It shall bruise thy head. And thou shalt bruise his heel. Thou shalt bruise his heel. By you his foot will be wounded. By you his foot will be wounded. You know, the God himself put a great enmity. Yeah? It is said, it, that's how you, you cannot be a friend with the enemy. The devil, you can never be a friend with the, the, the devil. You see, God, God has put the enmity between the woman and between the seed and her seed. It shall bruise the head and thou shalt bruise his 
Neil is healed. You know now here is a problem. Now God Himself said, "Okay, you fall. When I give you all the powers, I give you the dominion, everything. Now I'm going to put the enmity between you and the snake, between Satan and you. So there is no way you can be a friend of the enemy, especially women. You cannot be a, a, a friend of the enemy, the, the devil, Satan. Now here it is the nail, it's the feet, the foot, yeah." The Bible is <laughs> it's very strange. Many people, they don't understand this. They never see this. No pastors can tell you this. That's why we need to, to go to Iron Feed and you see uh, this curses that was put by God himself, God will have mass on us and yes. deliver us. Amen. 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 The book of Romans 10, verse 15, the Bible says, read. The person who was reading, you read and did to be finished. You can make your feet beautiful feet. How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace? Yes, and you can make you can make your your feet beautiful feet. And the Bible say how that is a question. How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring greatest titles of good things? You know your feet. You can make your feet beautiful or you can make your feet angry. Especially when you go to a, a place where they, they, they declare demons. They declare a lot of demonic places. So your feet will correct some, some, some demons. Then your feet will be bad. Bad feet. It will not be beautiful. It cannot be whatever. You know some people, there are some people who can come to a place when they, they reach their feet like that, their feet will turn to be something else. Bad lucky. When you and you have you seen somebody can enter your house, when well, you may see that since this person entered in this house, things have changed. The evil feet has entered the house. Yeah? So your feet can be evil and your feet can be beautiful. That's what the Bible says. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm coming there. So I want you to see that how 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 feet how important your feet is. Your feet can go a place and bless the whole nation or bless the whole house. Your feet can go to the place of business and that business can close down because of evil feet has entered in that business. Mm -hmm. But not your feet. Amen. <laughs> yes. Amen. Not your feet. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 In the book of Deuteronomy, 33 verse 24, the Bible says, I don't have to call you. When I say the Bible says, um, uh, you have to go. <laughs> you can uh, dip your feet in oil, in well. And of Asher, he said, let Asher be blessed with children. Let him be acceptable to his brethren. And let, them, and let him dip his foot in oil. Amen. Listen. Repeat my brother, pastor, 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 repeat it. Say again, and you can dip your feet in oil. Yes. In oil. And of Asha he said, let Asha be blessed with children. And of Asha he said, let Asha be blessed with the children. Mm -hmm. Let him be acceptable to his brethren. Let him be acceptable to, to his brethren. And let him dip his foot in oil. And let him and let him dip his feet on oil. That's why it's very important to wash you with the oil. To put your feet in the oil because remember your feet was cast. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah. So when we dip you in the oil, those curses will go. Amen. Many times when we do this deliverance, people get a lot of breakthrough. Mm -hmm. Because you have no idea how your feet is. Remember your feet can be a blessed and be a cast. That's why the Bible was talking to us. That your feet, you, are, you can give your feet on oil in wealthy. People are been having problem of financial problem. This feet, once you put your feet there, that poverty will say bye bye. Amen. Amen. <laughs> that people who have been looking at a job for a long time, when you feed you, when you enter in that oil, it, uh, uh, that problem will go and we say bye bye. Amen. Yes. Now you see, and a 
of Asha is saying, let Asha be blessed with the children. Some people that, are, that, that they don't have kids, they are barren. Because the enemy, that snake, has entered in the womb and broke all the pipe and broke the baby. So some people, they can't have children. Now the, the, the Bible is open, it says, let, the, let, the, let them bless, let them have children. And let them dip their oil, in the, in the, let them... Let them let the, let him dip his feet in oil. That's why we are going to beg that. Some people they think this is witchcraft. I will show you the scripture. It is not witchcraft. It is recommended that every time after three months we go this because you never know where you have walked. You never know where you pass. That's why you need to go iron feet. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Joshua one three. Your feet are for possessing your possession. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you. Amen. You see, the Bible says in Joshua 1 3, your feet are possession, your possession. This is good. The Bible says, every place that sole of your foot, your foot, shall tread upon, shall have given unto you. You walk, you, you claim the place. Amen. When you end a place, when I entered in, here in Canada, I step on Canada like this. I said, I own you. I, I, I possess every wealth in this country. Amen. It is mine. I claim it. Yeah. When you go to a place of work, you step your, your feet like this. You claim that place. When you are going anywhere, when you reach there, you, you, you possess the place immediately. <laughs> they say, <laughs> the, the, the Bible says, all of where, what does it say? It says that every place that the sole of your feet, or all your foot, shall tread upon, they have given unto you. So your feet, when your feet is blessed, is that not the scripture says? All right, it's yeah. Amen. Check your Bible. Maybe you are, you are, this is King James. So when you see that, the Bible says that you you go there, you possess, you possess the place, you possess the place. That's how it is. You are a child of God, and this country, even immigration, you when you read there, you you, you claim that place completely. You say yes. that's mine. Yeah? yeah. Where your feet? <sighs> Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> you don't know how to possess your possession. Yeah. You have to possess the place because your feet is anointed has been delivered. Amen. Right now, when you are going to a place of work or you are looking for something, anywhere you go, you, you must be proud that your feet is powerful. Yes. Even Jesus told his disciples, when you go to a place you are welcome, leave the blessings there. When they don't welcome you, do what? What do you do with this? <laughs> Hallelujah! What do you do? <laughs> tell me! Tell me, somebody must tell me. What do you do? Pastor, tell me. You shake the dust off your foot. Why? Why foot? Why not even hand like this? <laughs> there is power in your feet. There is power in your foot. Yes? Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So the key point is that whenever you go anywhere, when you reach a place, any town, you want to live there. If you are looking for a job, you want to come and when you go there, you possess immediately that place. Because the Bible says, where your food, where your food shall dread upon, you have been given. Yeah. So you own that company immediately. You take it over. You take dominion. You know people, these Indian people, when they, their business, they own here, they share their the claim all of the money that belongs to them. Yeah. They know how to do it. Even the children of the devil, they know how to do this. What about you, child of God? Yeah. You know the devil is always counterfeit, he caught things. But you children of God, you say this is bad. No, no, no. Our oh, pastor, they don't want to share. This is the thing. You go to an airport, you silence everybody because your feet is there. <laughs> you take dominion and authority over there. Because your feet is, is delivered. He has authority. Okay. In Romans 16, verse 20, the Bible says, the book of Romans 16, verse 20, the Bible says, 
Your feet are to bruise Satan and all the power. powers. And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. Yes. So what? 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 What does that say? What? Your feet. You know the Bible says Satan is in our feet. Step on the feet. Yeah. Now the Bible says your feet are to bruise Satan and all of the money power, all the money power. Yeah. Nothing can hurt you by all means. The Bible says you have been given power and authority. Nothing by all means can hurt you. You will tread on serpents and scorpions. Nothing by all means can hurt you. Hallelujah. Amen. And they say, and the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet. Shortly. You know the devil is your is it will be staying there yeah. in your feet. It doesn't have to come and this and, and trouble you, mm -hmm. torment you, rock your ways, and you have that authority. Bring him down sometimes, step on him and, yeah. and tell him be, be my feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you done, have, let's let's practice practice. You demon, you come in my feet, I stare at you like that, the name of Jesus. The Lord God on my feet, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes. <laughs> That's how it is. Gosh. Okay. I hope everything is there. Uh, can you run? Is there? Uh, can do you get everything from there? Is that is that all? Or? Okay, I can't see here. I can't find it. You know these things. They, they are very jealous, but they can notice all my message. Yes. They are a liar. Oh gosh, I know that God is is with us, and I know they they they've tried. You broke it, but in the name of Jesus Christ, it's going to be defeated. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. God is good. So, is, did, did, you, you can't get anything from there? Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. The enemy, you, you've been trying at all your best to destroy this meeting, but in the name of Jesus, I destroy you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, you are a liar. Amen. So, he's, he's a liar. He has to get out. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Yes, so why is it cutting this? In the name of Jesus Christ, devil, get out now! I can't find it. Hallelujah! Oh, ya pa shatoro rabakuria, mbaba ba shitoro robokuria. Yes, Lord, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Jesus. We can't. We we know that God, you are God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we love you. Lord, we worship you. We tell you, we acknowledge your name. Hallelujah! Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, you are good. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Uh, you might not up there, so we will, we will go like this. Because it seems that I found it, the message. The other, the other COVID, I don't know what happened. And we saved everything. Now, let's look in the book of Second King. Second King 2, verse 21. The Bible says, Then he went out to the sources of the water, and cast in the, the salt there and said, Thus, thus says the Lord, I have healed this water. From it there shall be no more death or barrenness. So the water remained healed to this day, according to the word of Elisha, which he spoke. Somebody must get the scripture from the book of uh, Second King 2, verse 21. And he went forth unto the spring of the waters, and cast the salt in there, and said, Thus saith the Lord, I have healed these waters. There shall not be from thence any more death or barren land. Okay. Now, the Bible says, 
Then he went to the source, the spring where the water comes from, from the source where the water comes, where God created water, water, water comes from. And because the water was sick, people were dying. So he, he stopped dead sentences from people. That's why when we give yourself, when we go to the water there and oil, it is going to stop dead sentences. Amen. There is no way the enemy will kill you before your time. No sickness will take you. Yes. The Elijah saw people were dying, women were not giving birth, they were, they were barren, and he had to do something. Bring that soul, put in the water. Mm -hmm. Somebody get it quickly, put no, it in I the water. The, 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 the soul, put in the water. The salt. Yes. Oh, and where, where, uh, prayer line, you can do the same, you can take the salt and put in the water. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. For everything? Yes. No, no, no. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, I will. The Bible says, and then he went out to the source of the water and cast in the soil there, and he said, that says the Lord. And he said, that says the Lord. Mm -hmm. I have healed this water. Yeah. From it there shall be no more death or barrenness. So the water remains healed to this day. The water was healed up to this day. You know the waters, our waters is polluted. The enemy is polluting the waters. They go and chant and put the evil and everything in the water. Now when you drink, you take bath, it is it's problem, is dead. Do you know this month only how many people have lost their life? Many accidents have occurred because the child of, of the devil has been chanting, praying, fasting. They want to see the blood. They want and the children of God, they are sitting down, they are sleeping, they don't, they, are, they don't fast. You have to, you have, you have to go, that's why we have backfire. You have to stand against the, the schemes and the, the wells of the enemies. Now this water was healed and the death was stopped from that time. Let's look on the book of, of, of Deuteronomy 33, verse 28 to 29. The book of Deuteronomy 33, verse 28 to 29. Israel then shall dwell in safety alone. The fountain of Jacob shall be upon the land of corn and wine. Also his heavens shall drop down dew. Yes. Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people saved by the Lord, Amen. the shield of thy help, and who is the sword of thy excellency? And thy enemies shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. Amen. Ah, 29 says, Happy art uh, happy thou, happy art thou, O Israel. Who is like unto the unto unto thee, O people saved by the Lord, the shield of the help, and who is sword of the excellence, and the enemy shall be shall be found a liars unto thee, and thou shalt do what? Tread upon the high tread, places. Tread upon the high places. High places. What does that mean? Tread upon the high places. The altars. Yes, with your feet. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. So, the Bible says, and the enemy shall be found liars. Let your enemy found a liar. Amen. Let the yes. enemy be, be a liar. Amen. Let God arise and let his enemy be scattered. Amen. Let the enemies be found a liar. And thou shalt tread upon their high places. That's why you go to the place and you, you, you take dominion. You tread upon the high places. There's, there are altars. There are places where they are hiding. You walk there and you destroy their altars. Yeah, yeah. You speak the word of God because your feet is anointed. Your feet has been delivered. Yes. So nothing. No witches can, threat, can, can threaten you again in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord, we thank you, Father. Now we, we are all going to look at the, at the book of uh, uh, the popular scripture, which says, which is from the book of... Uh, uh, John, 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 John 13, verse 4 to 5. He rises from Satan and laid aside his garments and took a towel and guarded himself. 
After that, he poured the water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with a the towel wherewith he was guarded. Okay. The thing is, Jesus himself washed his disciples' his feet. Why? Why? You see all this. I want to show you that Jesus washed the feet because he understood that the feet has been cast. So his disciples, he, they cannot continue with the work if their feet are being cast. That's why he washed them so that the feet can be set free. Mm -hmm. Yes, even Jesus himself was was washed with the oil you remember the woman who was jesus yes okay let's look in the book of luke for luke 7 verse 44. luke 7 verse 44 to 47. hallelujah praise be the name of jesus we thank god for everything and he turned to the woman and said unto simon seest thou this woman i entered into thy house Thou givest me no water for my feet. Yes. But she has washed my feet with tears. Yes. And wiped them with the hairs of her head. Yes. Thou givest me no kiss, but this woman, since the time I came in, had not ceased to kiss my feet. <laughs> my head with oil thou didst not anoint, but this woman has anointed my feet with ointment. Yes. Therefore I say unto thee, her sins, which are many, are forgiven. Amen. For she loved much, but to whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. Yes, now Jesus himself, he was very happy when this woman was kissing him, was loving him with the oil. Jesus was very happy. Now he was condemning this man called Simon. Simon was a reverse. Not, not a rebel, not, not the, the disciples of Jesus. It is a different Simon. Now this Simon, he, Jesus was, I was in your house. You didn't do me anything. You didn't give me even oil for my feet. You see how feet is very important. Yeah? Now, this woman, she bought a very expensive oil. Very, very expensive, whereby one of his disciples was greedy and jealous. He said, this oil shall be sell and given to the poor. You know that story. But the oil, the woman, she understood how important to anoint Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. So Jesus also was was washed, was was washed, was was anointed. His feet was anointed. Mm -hmm. So when we do this, we are not doing witchcraft, or we are not doing magic, or we are not doing anything down. Now we have coming. We have been reading Old Testament. I wanted to show you New Testament. What does it? What how it looks like? Because people they have bad attitude. They like to charge things and they don't know. The feet is very important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some people they, they suffer, they think that this is wrong. A, a, a pastor was telling me, I know that when you are, you are saved, you are delivered, so there is nothing wrong. And these people were honestly speaking, were very sick. Mm -hmm. Were very sick, they, are, they were very sick, they look sick, they, they, have, they, have, they have drugs on their pocket and they take the drugs like water. <laughs> <laughs> you must be free. Amen. Yeah? Yes. We have to do these things so that the devil will get away from your life in Jesus' Amen. name. Yes. Point for me the oil there in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The oil? Yes, put that oil there. And then. <laughs> yes, put it there for you. Read the book of Jesus. No. Just put it in up. Even the oil, no problem. We want to wash our feet. Now, look at that, that scripture of Deuteronomy again. <laughs> Deuteronomy 33, verse 24 and 20, 20, 34 to 39. To 34, uh, Deuteronomy 33, verse 24 to 29. Yes. Can somebody read for me there? I, I want you to read 34 and 35, uh, 24 and 25. Only like that. About Asher, he said, Most blessed of sons is Asher. Let him be favored by his brothers, and let him bathe his feet in oil. The bolts of your gates will be iron and bronze. Bring more water and pour that water there. Okay, read it. The bolts of your gates will be iron and bronze, and your strength will equal your gates. 
Hallelujah. And, and the usher shall be blessed with children. Let him be accepted to his brethren and let him dip his feet in oil. The shoes shall be iron and bruise and as the day as shall they strengthen be. If there is more water, bring the whole case and pour it there because I need more water. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. So as I want to dip you the, the oil and the water, your life will never be the same again. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. Let's, let's do the, the, the prayer. We are going to pray the Masinigan prayer point. Uh, and this one I can bring, uh, you can bring the USB to get it on PowerPoint. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. The, we saved this very well, but, but uh, the enemy just decided what he decided that he did everything. He was not saved. Bring the USB. If you have your extra US, USB in your pocket, you can bring it and you can use it. It might be my USB is not good. <laughs> I know some people they have they, they have theirs already in their pocket. <laughs> Hallelujah. We thank God for everything. Bring it, bring it here. Yes. The USB bring from we, we want the prayer prayer points to put in the PowerPoint. Just pass here. First there. Come and get it. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Can, let's sing a little bit. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Even the song. Bring a song. No, no, no. Let's sing. Don't bring a song. Just let's sing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. How do you do Continue. Don't stop. <laughs> oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. It was as white as snow. Oh, the blood of Jesus, oh, the blood of Jesus, oh, the blood of Jesus, it washes white as snow. There is power, power, wonder, what is power in the blood. All the love, there is power, power, wonder, what we power in the precious light of the land. There is power, power, wonder, what we power in the blood. All the love, there is power, power. Oh, uh -huh. 
enemy we have faced in the name of Jesus. I know, I know that the enemy hates this meeting with the perfect hatred and they tried everything. Yeah. First of all, he started frustrated us so much when we started. When we came, they, the door was locked and they, we, they denied us, they delayed us. So we, we know that God is good. Yes. He wanted us to be upset and say something which we are not supposed to say. Amen. When I heard that, I love, I said, devil, you are still on my feet. You are going to see my feet. You will not do anything in the name of Jesus. Now the computer is thinking what to do. <laughs> you can, it can't go? Okay. Okay, now come down to the machine gun prayer bullet. Hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. I'm telling you, that when I'm doing like this, you are on my feet. You are on my feet. You are, you are, you are, I will kill you. You will not, you will not wake up. You will not rest up. Yet, he frustrated us. If we didn't take a step of faith and stand firm, we would not be here. Yes. Yeah? So, now, are you there? Okay. Now, let's repent our sins. We have to repent and ask the Jesus to forgive us any sin before we go to the prayer. Lord Jesus, my Father and my God, forgive us, God. Father, forgive us all our sins in the name of Jesus. We are sinners before you, God. Father, forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, God, and wash us, God, my Father. In the name as we come before your presence, Lord, forgive us. Forgive us all our sins. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Now you stand up and open your mouth. You open your mouth, stand up and open your mouth, pray with a very aggressive and a very aggressive prayer. You must be annoyed with the enemy. Because you remember the Bible said, God himself put the enemy between you. Yes. So we have to come against this the demon called serpentine or, or, or shepherd or what? Or python. Yes. So let's pray. Let me read you and then you can follow me. Father Lord, Father, Lord. Let the foothold and the seed of Python be destroyed completely in my life in the name of Jesus. Let the foothold and the seed of Python be destroyed completely in my life in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, Father, Lord. let the foothold and the seeds of the Python be destroyed completely in my life in the name of Jesus. Let the foothold and the seed of Python be destroyed completely in my life in the name of Jesus. Let the feet, let the, the foothold and the seed of the Python be destroyed completely in my life in the name of Jesus. Let the foothold and the seed of Python be destroyed completely in my life in the name of Jesus. Jesus name. Jesus name. Let the blood of Jesus raise all the legal ground that the battle and serpent and spirit as against my life in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus raise all the legal ground that the battle and serpent and spirit against my life in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus let the blood of Jesus raise all the legal ground raise all the legal ground Get my life in the name of Jesus. I close all the doors. I close all the doors. Open to the python and serpent spirit in the name of Jesus. Open to the python and serpent spirit in the name of Jesus. I close all the doors. I close all the doors. Open to the python and serpent spirit in the name of Jesus. Praise be the name of Jesus. Let me read. You don't read. I, I, we will need to go to one accord. When you hear my voice, is when you repeat for me. Don't do anything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know you write, you can read, but for me, let, let, let me do this. Let the trap constructed by the python and, and, and serpentine spirit to stop the termination of the seed of my life be broken down completely in the name of Jesus. Let the trap constructed by the python and serpentine spirit to stop the termination of the seeds of the 
things of my life be broken down completely in the name of Jesus. I command all the words contrary to God's words spoken by the python and serpentine spirit against me to fall dead to the ground and bear no fruits in the name of Jesus. Do you know the python has languages to speak? Yes. Did you see that man who came here was speaking with the python? Yes. Right, like, shh. Do you know that? When they spell like you, they can portion your body and your body can be rotten and your heart can start vibrating like it's going to stop. So we stop that voice of the, 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 the python yes. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I bind the, the python and the, the serpent and spirit in my life and I clear my goods from his possession in the name of Jesus. I bind the python and the serpent and spirit in my life. You python and the serpent and spirit of my body, destruction be bound in the name of Jesus. You python and serpent and spirit of my body, you you python and the serpent and spirit of my body, destruction be bound in the name of Jesus. You python and the serpent and spirit of my of mind, destruction be bound in the name of Jesus. You python and serpent and spirit of my mind, destruction be bound in the name of Jesus. You, you, of you, of Jesus. you know, sometimes some people they have python and, and dragon minds. So we have to command them to get out of your life in the name of Jesus. You python of serpent and spirit of financial destruction be bound in the name of Jesus. You python and serpent and spirit of financial destruction be bound in the name of Jesus. You python and serpent and spirit of financial destruction be bound in the name of Jesus. You python and serpent and spirit of financial destruction be bound in the name of Jesus. Every battle of one check against me by python and serpent and spirit receive defeat in the name of Jesus. Jesus. 
Jesus. Every access to my life by the Python and the serpent and spirits. I broke you in the name of Jesus. I broke you in the name of Jesus. Let all evil thoughts set up against my against me by Python and serpent and spirits. Let all evil be destroyed completely in the name of Jesus. I fire back. the name of Jesus. I think, is that all? Yes, yes, I know. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Father. Lord, I cover this prayer with the precious blood. I cover every one of us with the blood of Jesus. I throw the wall fire over every one of us in the name of Jesus. My Father and my God, I want to thank you. And I bless your name, God, in the name of Jesus. I will you can cast out every demon, every works of the devil, all of evil powers of the enemy, everything the enemy is working against us. Lord Almighty, we cast them in the name of Jesus, my God and my Father. In the name of Jesus, I close every doors of the enemy. I destroy them in the name of Jesus. My God, I lift your name up, my Father. I thank you, Jesus. I give you all the glory, God. We love you, Lord. We worship you, my Father. We honor you, Lord. We glorify your name. We give you all the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. I want to thank you so much, Periscope, um, uh, uh, prayer line. Thank you for, so much for coming. Thank you for joining. I have to stop here. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi, saying bye bye to you. See you tomorrow, 8 o'clock a.m. Tomorrow we are on. Prayer line will be on. Periscope will be on. New stream will be on. Thank you. Thank you so much, newcomers, first timers. Thank you. Thank you for joining. I love you so much, and there's nothing I can do about it. Bye bye. bye, -bye.